Hi everyone, welcome to chendu.org. In this short video, I would like to demonstrate the holiday request form, Excel form that Theodore has created and shared with us. This is a very beautiful form. He kind of put together all the valuable important features of Excel. He put, to, put them together, formulas, conditional formatting, uh, data validation, form controls, some of these nice features of Excel that he put together to create a holiday request form. Usually large companies what happens is whenever you want to go for a holiday or leave or vacation you can go to one of your internal HR systems and tell tell them that yes I want to go go on leave between 1st of February to 21st of February but in many small companies this process is kind of done through Excel sheets right quite often what we do is you'll go to the Excel sheet and you will enter the start date and end date of your vacation. But in case of Theodore, he found out that there are a lot of errors happening with this method and whenever people are entering these dates in different formats, the network days formula which is used to calculate how many working days are there between two dates, it won't work because somebody might enter date in a different format, somebody might enter it in a different format. So he put together this form, a holiday request form, which kind of, uh, <coughs> you know, reduces the chance of error and uses excel feature so that people can very easily request for holidays and then once they are done they can just take a print out of this get the approvals and put it to the H hr so that they can calculate the amount of pay they have to pay and all those things it's a very good form let me very quickly demonstrate this to you this is where you will type in your name all the green cells are where you will type the name as he has provided here uh, some simple help it can it can be obvious since this is quite big form, I want to collapse the ribbon so we can see more of it. I can double click on the ribbon or if you are running Excel 2010, you can press this button here. So that will go and we'll get some more screen space. And you can select the type of holiday, rest, special event, unpaid or time off in lieu for previous months. So you can do that and I don't... I, I have no idea how Romanian human resource laws are and what kind of rules will be there. So I will not go into those details. But what I like really about this is let us say I select the you know rest type of holiday and I can choose the starting date. Okay, as I click here I can choose the starting date and by default this scroll bar this is a scroll bar where you will make the selection for starting date and the second second one this this scroll bar here this is where i will select the end date this will kind of tell you the duration also and in this case as you can see we make the selection 14 to 15 this x's are shown and the leave will be only counted for the number of cells with x so this is actually an annual calendar where uh, Theodore is showing an X whenever leave is applied on that date and as it is a holiday cannot be taken on Saturday and Sunday so all the weekends are highlighted all the weekends are highlighted so are some of the legal holidays I believe uh, yeah so if it is a legal holiday one of the holidays that is listed here that is also applicable so it's quite beautifully done right what you are seeing here is a mixture of conditional formatting and a type of uh, uh, you know, it, you can call this as an in-cell chart, but it is also type of conditional formatting again. And then once everything is done, you can also see how many number of days the person is taking. There are some rules too. For example, you cannot take more than 21 days, like we have 19. Okay. So if you are incrementing and the date happens to be on the weekend, it won't count. More than 20, 20 days we cannot take, so it kind of doesn't work. It shows highlighted here. So it's quite powerful and it provides visual cues as you are progressing through the form. And once you are done, you just have to take a print out of this and uh, you know get the approvals from various people who would need to you know allow you to go on uh, go on a holiday and then that's it, you're off to your vacation. So I really like the way Theodore has put together this nice form and I thought it will be an excellent example of what is possible with Excel and how you can use your creativity to mix various features like this form controls, this scroll bars and conditional formatting to create a wow factor and also reduce the amount of errors that happen and reduce the amount of time taken to complete something like this. So I hope you have enjoyed. My, I really wish uh, 
Theodore all the best because he has, she has taken a lot of time to put this together and he has been very kind to share this with us because we can also learn. So go ahead and download the file from chendu.org and enjoy how you can uh, you know enjoy the process of building something like this by playing with this file. You can unprotect it, there is no password so you can examine all the formulas, what is going on with conditional formatting, how the scroll bars are linked to other cells and all those things. Okay, thank you very much for your time and I hope you have enjoyed this short video. This is Chandu from chandu.org and I wish you are becoming a little more awesome by just watching this video in Excel. Thanks, bye-bye.